guys, 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 it's a fucking miracle. If I was not so goddamn lazy, I would go outside right now with my microphone and let you listen to the fact that it is raining. This may not seem like a big deal to you in the rest of the world, but for me and motherfucking California, this is the first time it has rained basically in a year. Like, it's... It's bad. <laughs> if you haven't heard anything about it, just look up. Like, so, I live in the greater Sacramento area, Sacramento County. Thankfully, not the uh, incredibly boring, like, normal Sacramento area. Outside of the Sacramento area. And um, I have to drive by Folsom Lake every single day that I go to school. Please go take a moment of your time and go look up let me see if there's a more recent one because i went up when i looked this up about a couple months ago the most recent photo well that the readily came up was from 2014 which obviously now it's almost 2016 so that's a while ago so let me see oops my bad that's not images images no yeah it's still showing oh god oh boy it is still showing the very uh the first few pictures are of the 2014 one but anyway point being like the 2014 picture that it shows says that the like it shows a comparison between 2011 and 2014 and in 2011 it was like like 99 percent capacity you know basically full at 2014 it was at like i think i can't remember if it was seven percent or eleven percent i'm too lazy to look it back up again uh but anyway but that was a, almost a year and a half ago because it was from july of 2014 it was that low and it's gotten even lower like it is horrifying to drive by that lake every single day that i have to go to school and um see the level that it is at so it's at first i was kind of really like pissed off because i actually got woken up this morning by a thunderstorm and um because I'm, I'm a very light sleeper plus the fact that my bed is actually shoved up against a wall and like i occasionally not occasionally pretty much always i end up kind of moving around to a point where i'm kind of against the wall a little bit at least my arm is and so when there's thunder you know if the noise doesn't wake me up the fact that um the what's it called sorry I'm, I'm i got i got distracted by talking about school i'll talk about that in a bit but um the i'm sorry i'm sorry moving on uh the thunder you know like the vibration of the walls will definitely wake me up if the sound does not so but it still it woke me up and i was super happy because like it's raining really hard it's like a legit thunderstorm it lasted for 30 minutes no joke 30 minutes like it was like 15 minutes of ridiculous downpour because i got woken up by thunder and lightning at that point it wasn't really raining yet you know the thunder and the lightning was passing through and then the downpour hits and that lasts for like 15 minutes and then another five minutes after that it's kind of back to just you know you can hear it raining but it's not really hard and then after that it was just gone i walked out my door about uh 50 minutes after that and it was no longer raining in any way shape or form fastest thunderstorm i've ever experienced in my life but now it's raining again and it's awesome and it needs to do this for just like the next two months straight i would not complain for a second if it did but this is not what i was here to talk about so let's just talk about that school shit real quick you know what i hate about the expansion of the internet and all the options it brings available to you is the fact that now teachers are capable of posting grades online you know why this sucks <laughs> every single we just had a test this last wednesday and so i have you know every single time i have just like a second of downtime just even a moment i'm like oh i wonder if the test grades are posted they haven't been they're still not i've looked like 80 times i was out i you know mentioned school and i was like oh let me go check that out real quick <laughs> it used to be like it kind of sucked you know you do have that time period where you're like uh, i don't know how i did on this test you know if you feel like you didn't do very well that really sucks but you know still you had you knew you were waiting until your next class period at least to hear news now it's like at any point in time this grade could just come through so obviously i have to constantly check <laughs> and it's killing me uh and it's actually mostly just because of the fact that like this is the first class uh and it's this is calculus specifically that i'm talking about and this is the first class in a very long time that i've like legitimately cared about because you know all the math classes any class before it is like 
it's important in terms of you know it affects my gpa and that kind of stuff but when you get to you know like calculus and physics and any of the kind of more advanced levels of things you know things that kind of get outside the bounds of uh just your general education goals and it becomes you know like okay now at this point anybody that is in these classes now is focused is there for a reason and you know the level of aptitude necessary in order to succeed in these classes is higher thus it means more and so you know now i'm like i really this is the first class in a very long time that i'm not just like eh i'll be able to you know i'll, I'll be able to not try at all and get i'm not trying to brag about it at all but i'm just kind of saying like i can breeze through here get a b or an a easily no problem i don't have to worry about it this is like i am buckling down and i care this time and it is the first time in a long time that i've actually cared about a class and so you know obviously i want to see whether or not i bombed a test because i never feel i always feel uh, like I did well in tests and I usually do I'm a very good testing type person but uh, there have been occasions where I have thought I did excellently and then the grade comes back and it's like oh I, I didn't did not do excellently so you never know and it's just you know you want that you want that sureness there you want to know for certain I feel like I nailed this test now show me that I nailed this test and um but yeah so anyway that's not what i'm here to talk about what i'm here to talk about is the fact that it has been a while since i did a video numerous reasons uh the most recent reason why i haven't done a video <laughs> is because i uh so when i do these i don't use the normal because obviously you know if i want to just be i wanted it to be easy i could just record everything that i did through open broadcaster software but when i do these since i'm not recording any gameplay at all i just use uh a um, just a voice recording uh, program rather than something that you know will capture video audio everything you know it has options for everything um, and so the last time I actually did this about a week ago I kind of discussed what was going on what was happening and as it turned out you know when I started to pay attention I kind of looked over and the audio levels didn't seem right like it seemed like it was really quiet to the point where I thought okay maybe something's wrong with my microphone uh, maybe I just have the microphone placed too far away from me. Maybe something's wrong with my computer settings. What's happening here? It turns out that um, my microphone had been had gotten itself unplugged at some point in time, and then like it replugged itself in or something. But when that happens, the program automatically defaults back to the computer speakers, and it doesn't revert itself back to using the microphone. So it was just using my absolutely terrible, not computer speakers, but computer microphone not good quality not gonna post that and then once that happened you know that was kind of set aside some time to do that um you know i don't want to get into too much of my personal life the point being you know obviously like i said i actually care about the classes i am taking right now and it's not just you know eh shit can wait you know it's no big deal this is an, this isn't exactly a challenging course uh i can squeeze by by you know procrastinating and not really caring i can't do that anymore i can't squeeze by by procrastinating because procrastination is what i do best it is easily the first thing that i mastered in my life but i can't just you know i can't not care about it i guess you know i kind of still have to even though i still procrastinate as much as possible that's just what i do it has always been what i do and it works for me i'm perfectly fine with it but uh it used to be that i could procrastinate and then just like breeze through everything and just not care can't do that anymore it's not like you know I'm not exactly trying to do theoretical physics over here, but it's still something that requires my attention and I actually have to, you know, have some notes in front of me and paper with me so I can write stuff down, which I didn't really have to do previously. Um, so, you know, it actually takes more of my time. And so, you know, now, like I said, I kind of had to set aside some time to do that, plus other things that are going on in my life that are not worth discussing, but just, you know, it's time consuming still. And uh, so I set aside the time to do it. I spent about 25 minutes with it and then it ends up being unusable and I was like oh well all right let's just discard that and move along with our lives so unfortunately now I'm sitting down to do it again so basically the one thing I do have something planned I don't know if it's gonna work out I don't want to talk about it necessarily because I do want it to be I think it'll be a little bit of a surprise I don't know we'll see um but yeah I think I think maybe people will be happy potentially i don't know but i don't even know if i will be happy this is something that i'm not sure about i don't know whether or not it's going to work out for me uh but we'll see and but i've just had to wait in order to uh be able to actually do what i want to do 
and I'm gonna still have to wait a little bit longer you know don't expect something to find out what it is tomorrow or anything but it's still but I did get some confirmation of things so we'll see what happens there but yeah just because what ended up happening was obviously I shipped back blaze blue um it's you know already I was uncom not uncomfortable but I didn't particularly care for the choices that occurred around CP Extend. And so already I'm walking into a game that I'm just kind of like, eh, don't really care for it, don't really like it, I don't really... And, you know, I'm... Obviously, you know I am at an all-time personal low of my uh, feelings regarding Arc System Works. They're just, they're not a company that has made me happy recently. And so, you know, I'm not exactly going to go out of my way to try and support them, you know? And so, and then... Also, the PS4 version of Chrono Phantasm Extend was an utter piece of donkey dung, unfortunately. So, you know, I sent that back, and then I was kind of thinking, all right, it's been too long since I played a game on a stick, since I played a fighting game on a stick. Like, I've basically just been playing CP Extend on pad, and then I had that period of time with the Street Fighter V beta on pad, and that was it. I haven't really used a stick recently, so what can I play in order to you know try and ensure that I am maintaining my execution on stick and not you know getting rusty with it and ending up you know taking steps backwards in terms of my abilities in fighting games and so uh, I tried to get into you know the fighting games that I do own I tried out Street Fighter I tried out O'Neill I tried out uh, Gil I actually did not try out Guilty Gear I know Guilty Gear won't work for me and I will explain why in a second I even looked at Persona 4 Arena for a moment before I was like why am I looking at Persona 4 Arena that's just not gonna it's not gonna fucking happen but um I mean obviously out of all of those O'Neill is the one that I enjoy the most but there's just there's not a community for it I really hope that there is some sort of announcement regarding the um release the console release of the new version that's called I don't know what it's actually called it's just UNIST I know that U-N-I-S-T I don't know what it's actually called um but I'm really hoping that there's confirmation because you know it, it um there's basically fighting games just to kind of expand into all uh discussion regarding all of those games that I just talked about it's kind of I can kind of two main things regarding the games is whether or not I enjoy playing them and then whether or not I enjoy watching them. So like with O'Neill, the reason why I didn't import that was and I still even after now that I know I absolutely adore that game. It is my favorite fighting game that is released in recent memory. Um I still don't really enjoy watching the game. I don't know what it is. It's just I just particularly do not enjoy watching it. Part of it I am sure is just the prevalence of certain characters, Gordo, Waldstein, um, but, you know, I, I don't know, there's just something about the game itself that doesn't lend, uh, hype to me when I'm watching it, but I really enjoy playing it, and so because of that, I was thinking, like, oh, I'm not really enjoying watching this game, so I'm probably not gonna enjoy playing it, thus I shall not import it, but now that I actually know, like, I really enjoy O'Neal, and Nanase, the character that I was playing, has been buffed, uh, I don't know, like, there wasn't... I don't think there was any like huge nerfs or huge buffs. You know, it's not going to be any drastic changes to the tier list, as far as I'm aware. But Nanase still got buffed a little bit, and it was kind of it was all about the things that I kind of you know was concerned about regarding the character in the first place. So that's really good. I'm really excited to try and pick her up again and hopefully be able to play the game with a real community. But there has been no announcement regarding the, an official console version of it so you know we're just kind of in limbo there um then you get to guilty gear where like i can't explain to you know i can look at guilty gear and i can tell you this game has really solid fundamentals a really solid foundation you know a base to work from its mechanics are solid there are a few eh, iffy things regarding the game you know i'm not entirely sure i enjoy uh how yrc works a lot of the time i don't really care for um whatever the hell their class system is called, I can't even remember anymore, but nobody really cares for that, and even then, it's still so rare that it almost is irrelevant to begin with, but still, you know, I can look at that, and I can say, this is a really solidly made fighting game, but there is just something about it that I do not enjoy. I cannot point my finger at it and say, this is the exact reason why I just do not care for this game, and it keeps me from coming back and wanting to play it. There is just something about the game that does not drive that urge where you know like i'm out working and i'm thinking you know what i want to work faster so i can get home and play guilty gear i want to you know and i'm sitting there kind of theory crafting in my head doing things like that you know that never happened with guilty gear there just was something that did not flip the switch of 
God, I love this game and I want to just play it endlessly, you know, the way previous games have, uh, have in the past. And it's the same thing with Street Fighter as well. Like, I tried to get back in... Street Fighter was the game that I tried to get back into because obviously Street Fighter is going to be one of the games that just, it won't die. They will always have a community. I will always be able to play it. So if there's any one game to pick to kind of just be a fallback game, it's Street Fighter. Now, I have gone through probably 75% of the cast at this point in time, and I just cannot find a character that I want to play. I don't know what it is. I tried out Chun-Li at the very start, and I immediately just said, you know what, no. No charge characters. I will not use a charge character. And so you're all, I'm already looking at it before I even made the decision regarding, you know, I, screw charge characters. I just don't really care for them at this point in time. Uh, before I even made that decision, I was already kind of iffy because it's like, I have no interest in learning how to piano. Number one, it's gone. You know, pianoing is going to be an absolutely irrelevant executional tool come Street Fighter V. So what's the point even now of getting into it? But even when it wasn't irrelevant, like, you know, back when I was trying to play Honda, um, I still just did not care enough for that one specific thing that would take so much effort to learn and master. I just did not care enough to do it. And so I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this character thinking... I'm already out one extremely solid tool because I refuse to learn how to uh, either, you know, piano or slide, you know, the different methods. I just don't care to try to learn them in order to master them and be able to do them 100% of the time. Thus, I am playing this character at a disadvantage already. Um, so then, you know, you saw the video I was playing Fei Long for a bit because the point is, with the point of picking Fei Long was that Fei Long is not a character that suits me in terms of his play style. You... I, I uh, mentioned this in the old video, and I'm going to mention it again because it is such an apt thing to say. I watched Person of Interest recently because they put, uh, I think, like the first two, maybe three seasons on Netflix. And there was a point in time in which one of the characters basically said, we need, you know, trust me, you are very efficient at what you do, but you are a hammer. And there are times when we need a scalpel. This is one of those times. And I am a hammer. I am not a scalpel. Fei Long is a scalpel character. And so, you know, I was thinking, let me pick this character because he goes against what I would normally gravitate towards. Hopefully he will teach me something about, you know, like, not necessarily teach me something, but I will strengthen flaws in my game by picking this character. Now, number one, I actually did surprisingly well with Fei Long. I did not think I was going to do as well as I was going to from the gate. But uh, I did I did quite well with Fei Long. That being said, I was bored to tears the entire goddamn time. <laughs> I cannot be a scalpel, and that's another reason why I kind of was like, all right, you know what, maybe not, maybe ch maybe picking Chun-Li is not the greatest idea, because with Chun-Li, it's the same kind of thing. And with Jerry, another character that I've tried to pick in the past, it's a very similar thing right up until the point uh, that you activate Feng Shui Engine, and now all of a sudden you have become a hammer. But <laughs> up until that point, you are a scalpel with that character, and it's just, you know... I, I need to find a character that is in the middle of that, but then uh, I tried out Oni. Oni is very much a hammer. He is the type of character that doesn't really have particularly strong... He has decent neutral tools, but he's not really a neutral-based character. Um, like, I'm honestly thinking Sagat is probably the best option for what I'm looking for right now, but I'm just trying to kind of look around and see. I don't even know if I'm going to stick with the game, so it's kind of... Who knows, you know, maybe I'm thinking too far forward at this point. I need to figure out whether or not I actually want to continue playing the game first. But I tried Oni, and it was like, you know, okay, this is a character where... Similar to Evil Ryu, actually, just less effective than Evil Ryu. You're not really trying to play the neutral game and reset neutral situations. You are trying to get that one hit that you can FADC into a massive combo, get massive damage, and then set up your very strong pressure to get another massive damage combo and hopefully end it in two or three hits. Like, that's the point of the character, and that's exactly what I'm not looking for. I do not want a combo-centric damage-based character. I want a character that I can learn to play just purely, solidly, that also does not bore me to tears. Like, Fei Long was perfect for that, Chun-Li perfect for that, Ryu perfect for that. Every single one of them, it bores me to play them. Um, so, I don't know, you know, maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Maybe I just need to play towards my strengths and then try to play characters kind of differently than I normally would in order to try and improve my weaknesses, or I don't know exactly what I'm trying to look for. But, uh, I tried Oni, I tried Hakan, I tried Gokin, um, 
C. Viper, Ibuki, Makoto, Abel, uh, other characters that I am forgetting. And then, like I said, I kind of cast all of the charge characters out the window. Um, who, there's, uh, shit. What's his name? Adon? <laughs> Like I said, I've gone through a lot of the cast and I've wasted a lot of time trying to just find a character that I'm like, yes, I love playing this character and I have not found it. And that's a similar thing with Guilty Gear too. That was my pro that was a big problem with Guilty Gear was that I just could not find a character that I was like, yes, I love playing this character. Um, speaking of Guilty Gear, shout outs to them for bringing in all of the waifus. <laughs> Seriously, like all of the, you get Jacko, uh, what's her name? Shit, what is her name? Dizzy's the newest one. Oh, jam. Ha! Ah, I'm never gonna get Testament. I think Testament ended up like 7th or something. I, I don't know exactly where he was. He may have actually fallen out of the top 10 because I'm thinking of where he was at like the halfway point. But uh, yeah, Testament was not anywhere near the top and that is the character that I am most looking forward to and I'm not getting him any goddamn time soon. People want to bring in... Br it really surprises me how many people want... Bridget's Armika. Bridget is the Armika of Guilty Gear. Nobody fucking played that character, but apparently there's a huge crowd that wants to see that character in the game, and we'll end up seeing whether or not that enormous crowd actually translates to players of that character. But, uh, yeah, it, may, it makes me sad, because, you know, I, I, am, I do want to... I, I want some Testament in my life, and I'm not getting him. Or Zappa, but people understandably hate Zappa, because that dude... Uh, if you don't know what Zappa's playstyle is, even I'm not exactly, you know, 100% positive on how he works, but basically he summons, like, different weapons, and uh, I believe it's entirely RNG that determines which weapons he summons, but there were some that were just ridiculously strong. Like, if you got that weapon, it basically meant, oh yeah, Zappa just won. May as well just give up, he won. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next round and hope he doesn't get the same weapon again. Like, I think the crab and the sword were the two that were like, oh, fuck it. It's just not even worth fighting that dude anymore. <laughs> so, understandably, you know, people don't really want to see characters that, in their eyes, are overpowered end up in a series that they don't want to play that character. And so, you know, I can see why people may not want Zappa in the game. Um, but I, I love the character design, and, you know, overpowered or not, I want to see that character, and I want to try out that character. But we're not getting him either. Um... And it's kind of the same thing with Street Fighter V. You know, if you paid attention, Silicon Era leaked that Armika and Karin were going to be in the game. And then in a separate news story, they leaked that Yurian and Alex were also going to be in the game. Which is looking unlikely. You know, some people, because there's still, if you are not aware of how the Street Fighter V has been going, 16 of the characters have been revealed. Capcom is saying there are 18 characters that will be available at launch. And so a lot of people are speculating right now that it's possible... Un it's very unlikely, like, I don't believe it, but pe some people are speculating that one of the returning characters it will still be Alex. Because there's one returning character and one new character still left to be revealed. Some people are saying that that returning character will end up being Alex, and then Yurian will end up being a, like, secret boss or something. And part of me wants that to be true, just because of the simple fact that I actually did use Alex. I can't remember if I ever recorded any of it, but towards the tail end of when I was still playing Third Strike Online, I did switch, like, my Third Strike Online experience went from playing Necro at the very beginning, deciding that I was not a good enough fighting player, to, fighting game player to make Necro work, thus I switched over to Makoto, I used Makoto for a while, and then I settled on Alex, but, uh, that was, I'm pretty sure I settled on Alex and then played the game for, like, two more weeks and then stopped playing, but I did enjoy Alex, I like his character design, I liked his moveset, and I like, I enjoyed playing as him, so there is that part of me that's like, yeah, I want to see Alex in this game, because then I'll be able to play him in Street Fighter V, um, but yeah, at this point, I don't see it as being likely. <laughs> if it happens, I'll be hype, but I just don't really see it happening. And I'm kind of, I'm not really sure, because there's a new beta that I believe is happening from the 22nd to the 25th of October, and they removed the previous six characters, and they're uh, making the six that were announced after them playable. So I think it's Ken, Rashid, Vega, Mika, Karin, and shit, who was the, was there another new one? Oh, Nikali. I'm not really interested in any of those characters, to be perfectly honest. You know, I'll probably try out Mika just to see, because she seems kind of gimmicky, and you kind of... There's always fun to be had with gimmicky characters. I want to try out Vega, but Ken I don't care about. I originally thought I might want to try out Nikali, but after seeing him in action, I don't care about him, and honestly, his hair annoys me. 
<laughs> that's enough to push push me away from a character is you know an aesthetic problem like that uh and then karen i just eh, whatever she has the same name as my mother no thank you <laughs> um but let me see what else but yeah, so right now I'm kind of just like I'll, I'll try out Vega, I might try out Mika, but I'm not really you know interested in. In the previous one, I was interested in playing four of the six characters. This time I'm like, I'll try out Vega, and I'm interested in maybe Mika. I don't know. Uh, but out of the rest, I'm really Laura. So far has been the only other one that I'm really like, oh sure, I'll try her out. I'm kind of worried about her though because she doesn't seem. I mean, obviously this is looking at it from a place of nobody really has experience with her so you can't exactly expect a bunch of impressive shit to be pouring out regarding this character but there was a video where combo fiend even played her and like prior to this combo fiend has made every single other character look awesome like he played chun li and i was like holy shit this character looks amazing i could not replicate what he did but he made her look amazing uh and that's just, you know, that's what Combo Fiend does. That, that's the kind of fighting game player Combo Fiend is. He's a very strong fighting game player. Uh, I, in this video, he played both Zangief and Laura, and he did not make either one look particularly good in my eyes. Like, I was just kind of, eh. I mean, I already am just, I already know for sure. Like, I do not care. Zangief looks boring, and that's just to me. Don't, you know, don't bring out the torches and pitchforks and shit. If you enjoy Zangief, do you love that character but for me personally i was just kind of looking at him like yeah, yeah it doesn't look very good to me like i really don't see any way in which zangief will beat nash for instance like i just i don't see it i cannot see it um or birdie but we'll see you know who cares this is theory crafting speculation and these characters may not even remain even remotely similar from now and you know when the game actually releases so it's pointless let's just move along um, so yeah, I mean, I, I am, I'm still alive, I promise. Um, I do have plans, but they have just not, I have not put all of the pieces of those plans together to be able to bring them to fruition and do stuff with them, but I promise I am working on it, and hopefully enjoyable stuff will follow. So thank you for listening, and hopefully you will see more of me soon.